What's up guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and yes, the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. And you already know my motto, respect the lemon pepper. Respect the lemon pepper. Click that link above, man. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now, in today's video, I got a request from a subscriber. I can't even remember their name. I'm sorry. I apologize. You can leave a comment below if you were the one who requested this video. I'm going to show you guys how to make buffalo cauliflower bites. Now, I know for some, it may not sound mouth-watering, but I'm telling you, these little bites are delicious and not to mention very very healthy guys when you throw that buffalo sauce on these cauliflower bites listen i hope you're in your kitchen i'm already in mine so let's go all right so here are the ingredients we're going to use today for our buffalo cauliflower Right here I have uh, a head of cauliflower, onion powder, I have some flour, we're going to use buttermilk, garlic powder, butter, paprika, some uh, buffalo wing sauce now you can use, I'm using Texas peach, you can use Frank's or whatever kind of buffalo wing sauce you need. Make sure it's not the hot sauce, you need the buffalo sauce, the wing sauce, I mean you need the buffalo wing sauce, not the Texas peach hot sauce or the Frank's hot sauce. And we're going to use some honey and we're gonna use some salt. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are all our ingredients measured out. So I've, I've cut my uh, cauliflower into florets. So I have this right here. I have three-fourths cups of buttermilk. I have a fourth of a cup of flour, one-third a cup of buffalo sauce, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and right here I have two tablespoons of butter. All right, so this is what we have all measured out, so let's go ahead and continue. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our uh, flour mixture or our dredge. So what you wanna do is we're just gonna add our one fourth cups of flour here, along with our dried spices. This is our paprika our salt, our garlic powder, and our onion powder. So we're just gonna give this a, just a slight mix just to combine it. And there we have it, so we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce our buttermilk into our flour mixture. So we're just gonna do a, pour this in here like that. I'm gonna give this thing a good mix like this. And you want the consistency to be um, fairly thick, not too milky, sort of like this. All right, and that's what we have right there. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna place your cauliflower into this mixture and you wanna get it coated. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drop you know, multiple pieces in there. You know, doing it one at a time is just gonna be time consuming. And you can also maybe do a little shake it, bake it too with this thing. I'm just gonna mix it up like this. Make sure I get a lot of the coating on it. What you wanna do next is we're going to, let me take my pan right here. I've already um, got my pan prepared right here. So let me move this up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is, what I did was I just took a, 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 a baking sheet and I just lined it with parchment paper. You can also line it with, um, with aluminum foil if you want to. And I'm just going to remove these pieces. Let me get my tongs. Also, let me give it a good spray too. I like to spray these things just because so hopefully it doesn't stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these from this mixture. And I'm just going to start placing these bad babies onto our grates, okay? You want to space them out, you know, let them make sure, you know, allow them to cook uh, evenly. You want you don't want to overcrowd it. You want to make sure you put it on a pan like this with a rack because you want it to cook. You know, you want the air to circulate over and under the cauliflower. So, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some more um, 
of our cauliflower to this mixture. A couple of more pieces. All right, so this is what we have right here. Our cauliflower all battered up. And now we're gonna put it in, our, in the oven. I preheated the oven to 375 degrees. So we're gonna let this cook for a total of 40 minutes. 20 minutes on one side. After that 20 minutes, flip them over. Allow them to cook for the uh, remaining 20 minutes on the other side. That way we get an even cook. So let's go ahead. We're going to place them in the oven and I'll be right back. All right. So while the cauliflower is baking, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and prepare our buffalo sauce by adding our buffalo sauce here to a empty dish along with our melted butter. Followed by our honey, two tablespoons of honey. We're just going to give this a good mix. Just like that. And we're going to sit that aside until the uh, cauliflower is done. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like right here after 20 minutes. I'm going to kind of see if I can zoom in a little bit on it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to flip these bad babies over and allow them to cook on the other side for the remaining 20 minutes. And so I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. Then I'm going to put them back into the oven for 20 minutes. All right. So I'll be right back. All right. So the last 20 minutes are up. So we can take a look at it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, if you take a look at that right there. See what we have. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and place these in a bowl. And we're going to get them sauced up with our buffalo sauce. So we can test them out. All right, let's move on. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our buffalo sauce and we're going to put this over our, pour it over our cauliflower. I don't want to pour all of it because I want to, I don't know how much buffalo sauce I want. I just want a light coat over it right now. See, look at that. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little shake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, bake it, shake it, bake it. You don't want to shake it too hard. You just want to toss it just a little bit. Take a look at that. This is what you want. Wow, this looks amazing. All right, so that was just enough buffalo sauce. Let me, I'm going to add just a little bit more. No, you just want to lightly coat it. I, I'm telling you, this looks pretty good, guys. This is what you want. All right, so let me get these things all dressed up, and I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys, buffalo cauliflower. Let me know what you think about this recipe here. A very, very healthy snack and appetizer. Guys, I think you're going to enjoy it, especially if you're a fan of uh, anything buffalo. You're definitely going to enjoy this uh, recipe. Take a look at the, the cauliflower's cooked to perfection. Guys, I'm just going to try one of them real quick just so you can see how soft it is. Look at that. Look at that. It's delicious. This is a great recipe, guys. Like I said, it's very healthy. And again, you can also choose the, um, the heat level of your uh, buffalo sauce. If you want to go with the mild, you can go with the regular hot or the extra hot, whatever your preference is. So I will leave the uh, ingredients in the video description below. Also, I'm going to leave the measurements. That way you guys will know exactly what I use to make this recipe. Also, if you're looking for some of that All Wings Everything merch, go ahead. The link is in the video description below. It'll take you straight to Teesprings. And I appreciate you guys buying the merch. I appreciate you guys clicking on them Amazon links. It's really helping the channel and allowing me to continue to make these recipes. And until then, I am your cook Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything, and I am out. Peace.